Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Leslie. Just wanted to do a sort of review on a bag that I purchased in October, so a little bit about three, four weeks ago. I purchased it in Vegas. I actually pre-ordered it because they didn't have it in the color I wanted. And let me get into the bag. So this bag is from Louis Vuitton. This is the dust bag. Um, I had my eye on this bag for, since it came out in September, um, I wanted it, they had, um, the, I think it was a marine color, the marine rouge, I believe that's the blue color, the navy blue, I don't really like that color, and I was really loving this bag. This is the Louis Vuitton uh, Pump Do PM. It's the smaller size. There's an MM size. Or is this? Maybe I got the bigger size. No, I got the PM. So this is it. pretty bag. It's a it's sort of like a zippered tote style. This is in the color taupe and I love this color. See the details of the gold hardware and the rings for the strap. And there's another ring here and I'll show you what that does. So this bag retails for $2,550 and I think the MM is about two or three hundred more than this one. Um, I remember I was doing research on this and I couldn't find a lot of information on it and what other people thought about it. I probably only seen it on Instagram. It's just so pretty. I could look at it forever. So inside. It came with a strap. Now, let me start off by saying a lot of people have an issue or have asked about this strap. This strap is a lot shorter than the Speedy 25 and the Speedy 30 bandolier. Um, the strap on the Speedy is a lot longer. It's about a foot and a half longer. So if you are, if you're your crossbody strap is perfect on the Speedy Bandolier. This strap might be a little too short for you. Because this strap is perfect for me and I'm 4'10". Four, so I'm really short and petite. This bag. And I don't know why they made it because I would think that this would be a longer strap because the bag is much bigger than the Speedy. So this is what the crossbody strap looks like. And it hooks on to the gold hardware right there. Let's see if you can see that. On the inside, it's just four pockets, two on each side, one. Let me open this bigger. And the thing I love about this bag, it does. It's like the speedy Empreneur. It does go all the way down here, half, half to half the bag. Inside the bag, you'll see the top two parts, like that. This is the embossed down. Um, it's pretty simple on the inside. You don't really need anything because it does have that slouch. I feel like it's between an artsy and a mel- I think it's a melly. But this bag is a really good size. It could fit a lot. So the specs on this bag is 13.7 inches in length, 9.8 inches in height, and 5.3 inches in width. And I'm getting this from the Louis Vuitton website. It's cowhide leather in the Empreneur leather. There is no zipper pocket on the inside, which I was kind of sad about because I would have liked that on one side of the bag. But it's not a big deal. I can use 
um, we'll push that to the side. I definitely could fit a lot of things inside. It doesn't feel as heavy. When I first touched this bag and I held it, um, the Speedy 25 surprisingly is a lot heavier than this bag, even though this bag is bigger. So I'm not sure if it's because the leather is made thinner than the Speedy and it's not as structured. But this one is pretty light for the type of leather that it is. And let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on me. And the strap does hang down to my knee, and I'm 4'9". See, this falls right at my, kind of, my back area, and it hits right there. And I remember, I am 4'9", so if it hits me right here, it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot shorter. It might hit people that are taller, about 5 feet and up, from here, at your sides. Now, if you do plan on getting this bag, I do suggest looking in store and seeing if they have it. Sadly, mine had this bag in store, but not the color I wanted, so I ordered it online. Um, if you have the Speedy Bandolier in the Empronaut leather and you want this bag in the Noir, which is the black, you could most likely just use your Speedy bag, the, the strap. For, to switch on this one and it would fit perfectly for taller people that is something that would work perfect with this bag for taller people because I don't know why they made the bag this big and the strap this short so I'm gonna use my speedy noir bandolier to show you how the length is the difference I mean so with crossbody on this one it actually reaches down to my thigh that's my thigh it's almost towards my knee actually see how far it goes down Joey so this one is on the, this is the bandolier on the speedy on Pernod. In the noir and it is on the shortest buckle so this is how short I am and it's still long this one is long compared to the other the other one let me grab this one so from right here which is about even in length these two I'm gonna hold it up about five inches that's on the shortest buckle so with the longer buckle and I don't know if anyone's this tall where they use it on the last buckle see that's the last hole and I'm gonna do it with this again so these two hardware at the top and it's gonna go to length and it touches about right there that about 
measures at a foot in length. So with that said, this bag is pretty big in size, but I would say that the strap is <laughs> made for someone short or taller people, anybody above 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, I think that strap would be a little too short for you. But if you are getting in the black one and you have a different um, bo cross body strap for it, you can always switch it and use that cause it, or look, see if you can purchase the band, the cross body strap by itself from the Speedy 25 or the 30. My cross body strap for the Noir is actually the Speedy 25. And it is too long for me. My bag reaches past my bottom almost to between my thigh and my knee so it goes pretty low so but yeah i hope this video was helpful for you to decide or to see what this bag is about because i know that when i was looking into the bag i tried to do a lot of research before i purchased the bag and i couldn't find a lot of information on it besides what was on the website or on on instagram so i but i definitely recommend this bag this is one of my top three purchases I have a lot of people carrying it and that's a good thing but it's definitely a bag that you'll fall in love with it's so versatile you can use it as an everyday bag it doesn't you don't have to worry about it getting dirty like I don't have to worry about this baby because this leather is amazing I I purchased a speedy in the Opernaut leather and I purchased it about in June or April. No, I purchased it in April. And <laughs> the last few months, all I've been purchasing are, is the Ampernaut leather because it's so amazing. It doesn't get dirty. It's so sturdy. But again, I do want to let you know that when you carry this bag in hand and you feel it in store, it's a lot lighter than the usual Ampernaut leather. For some reason. I don't know why, but it is. And it's weird because this is a lot bigger than my other bags. So, yeah. Still learning how to work this YouTube thing. So, hopefully, this continues on. So, yeah. If you have any questions, just let me know. I can put, I will do a what's my bag video and I'll stuff this to see how much can fit in here for you guys. But it's a really good size bag. Bye. See you next time.